And then he stopped for a second time. Barak. And this time a caravan had camped for the night and one camel had broken loose. And he called out to the people, wake up, your camel had broken loose. And then they woke up and they found that the camel had broken loose and they searched and they found it. And when they returned to, to Mecca, they confirmed that this, has indeed, this did indeed happen, confirming the truth of what he had said. But again, this is meant to convey to us a message that it is possible to travel to different dimensions of space and time. Now comes the difficult part of the subject. Nabi Muhammad said, that when the jail is released, he'll live on earth for 40 days. And the, the, the number 40 is often used symbolically. For example, someone asked for Messenger of Allah, which was the first masjid which was built. He said, Masjid Al-Aqsa, Jerusalem. Sorry, no, Masjid the Kaaba, Makkah. For Messenger of Allah, which is the second masjid which was built. He said, Masjid Al-Aqsa, in Jerusalem. O Messenger of Allah, how many years passed between the construction of all? He said, 40 years. If we understand the word 40 here, in the normal sense of the word, then this statement is manifestly wrong because thousands of years intervene between the two. So in the answer of 40 years, he's conveying a message that language numbers can be used symbolically. Hmm? So when the Jal is released, he will live on earth for how many days? 40 days. Yawmun kasana. A day which will be like a year. Yawmun kashahar. A day which would be like a month. Yawmun ka jum'a. A day which would be like a week. Wasairu ayyamihi ka ayyamikum. And all his days, which may mean all the rest of his days, like your days. So now don't make the mistake of subtracting 3 from 37, which most people do. Hmm? And say that when he now appears in the world which is like, in a day which is like our day, he's going to live for 37 days. Yeah, you could read that on the internet. No, don't make that mistake. We now are able to understand the Dajjal is going to traverse three different worlds of space and time before he emerges in our world of space and time and yet he would be on earth. How is it possible? Can we be on earth and yet be traversing different worlds of space and time. Is it possible? Well, the normal answer that you, you, the normal question will be asked to you, are there angels here on earth? Hmm? And the answer is yes, there are angels here on earth. But can we see them? No, we can. Are there jinn here on earth? And normally I say there are lots of them in Washington, you know. <laughs> How many? Are there jinn here on earth? Yes, there are. Can we see them? No, we can't. So, the jinn and the angels are here on earth. And yet, they are not in our world of space and time. And so, it is possible for us to understand that the Jal can be on earth, yes. And yet, he's not in our world of space and time. Can an angel take human form? Yes. Yes. Every married man says that. <laughs> Can an angel take human form? 
The angel came in the masjid in human form and asked the five questions. Can a jinn take human form? Yes, he came, the old man with the walking stick. And so the jal can eventually take human form because it is possible. Surah al kaf of the Quran now comes to teach us. And when this is finished, then Surah Al-Baqarah takes over and tells us even more. The young men were in the cave, and Allah put them to sleep for 300 years. لِنَعَلَّمَ أَيُّ لَحِزْبَيْنِ أَحْصَى لِمَا لَبِثُوا أَمَدًا This is the purpose. This is why I put them to sleep, to teach the subject of time. I am doing this so that you would study and understand the subject of time. So now ponder and reflect. If they are in the cave for 300 years, okay, then when I wake them up, one would expect if they were in biological time, the fingernails would be from as long as from here to the bay in Simon's town. <laughs> okay? And their beards will be as long as from here to Cape Town. Hmm? But then when I woke them up and they questioned each other, one of them said, a day or a part of a day, which is very plain and clear that they had not aged biologically over 300 years. If they had not aged biologically over 300 years, the implication is they were not in our world of space and time. Hmm? They were in another world of space and time where you do not age. An old woman in Medina took the Shahada, became a Muslim, and had some doubts. O Messenger of Allah, I'm an old woman. Can an old woman enter heaven? He said, no. She's scared now. Why, O oh, Messenger of Allah? There are no old women in heaven. So he's capable of some fun, eh? <laughs> he's capable of some fun, the Messenger of Allah. I wish I were all and I would learn from that. <laughs> Get your audience to smile sometime. Oh, messenger of Allah, now no, she's close to tears. And then he responds with the sweetest of smiles, which is the one you must save. When a woman puts out her hand to shake hands with you, save that sweet smile. Because when you refuse to shake hands with her, my gosh, you could hear the thunder in the heavens above. <laughs> so then you have to say to her, in Islam, we don't shake hands, but we offer a sweet smile. And then she'll smile and matter resolve. <laughs> he smiled at her. And he said, Allah will cause you to become a young girl once again. So in heaven, in that world, you don't need cosmetics. The cosmetic industry will shut down. <laughs> you don't grow old. <coughs> so the young men did not, did not pass the 300 years in our world of space and time. They were not in biological time, what Dr. Ansari calls biological time. They were in another world of space and time where you do not age biologically. This is plain and clear. But Surah al -Kaf continues with the story to teach us more. But you have to, Ulul Al-Bab, you've got to ponder and reflect. Wait a minute, Imran. How can you say they were in another world of space and time? Did Allah not say that وَتَرَى الشَّمْسَ إِذَا طَلْعَتْ تَزَاوَرُ عَنْ كَحْفِهِمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينَ وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِدُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَاءِ وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْهُمْ وَنُقَلِّبُهُمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَذَاتَ الشِّمَاءِ 
the bodies of the young men were rolling to the right and to the left, attracted by sunlight in the morning on this side and sunlight in the evening on that side. Well, this is this world. This world of space, because right of the cave and left of the cave, and this world of time, because morning and evening. So the bodies of the young men were in that cave, in our world of space and time, every single day for 300 years. And yet they were not in our world of space and time because they did not grow old. Would you find this analysis in Tafsil? No, you got to ponder and reflect over it. And so now we know that there was continuous movement back and forth. Back and forth. That they were also in this world of space and time while they were in another world of space and time. And so Surah al kaf is teaching us about different dimensions of space and time, some different samawat, and the possibility of movement back and forth between the two. And now we leave Surah al kaf and we go to Surah al baqarah And the traveler is passing by the town which is lying in ruins. Which town? Of course, Jerusalem. And he says, I don't see how it is possible for this to ever be raised again. And then Allah caused him to die for how long? A hundred years. A hundred years. And then Allah raised him back to life and asked him, how long have you been here? And he also said a day or a part of a day. And we are also having spent a thousand years in the grave and we are raised, we'd say maybe a day or a part of a day. And Allah says, no, you've been here for a hundred years, now look at your food. I don't know if it was biryani. Look at your food. Lam <laughs> yatasanna. The food is still fresh, even though a, thousand, a hundred years have passed. In other words, the food has survived these 100 years in another world of space and time, which was not biological, in which women remain forever young, hmm? among men as well. But now look at your donkey. The donkey starved to death. The donkey's flesh rotted. The bones turned to dust. And then Allah revived the donkey. But the donkey and the food were in the same place. Despite <coughs> being in the same place, the food was in one dimension of space and time, and the donkey was in another dimension of space and time, indicating the different dimensions of space and time can exist side by side. You don't have to take a taxi <laughs> to travel from one dimension of space and time to go to another. Hmm? They are existing alongside each other, side by side. And so now, what do we know about these worlds and space and time? We have very little information in the Qur'an and in the Ahadith, very little information. But we do have more information outside of the Qur'an and Hadith. In the Qur'an and Hadith we know there's a day with Allah which is like a thousand years. Like a thousand years. A day which is with Allah which is like fifty thousand years. Hmm? That's in the Qur'an. Over here we have a day which is like 300 years. Over there we have a day which is like 100 years. It is when we go outside of the Qur'an and Hadith that we can get into trouble. Because Allah blesses some people with knowledge. 